Hey Salifas, this is Super Zomaga Barbecue! And today, we have had a very, 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 very big announcement about this weekend's Royal Rumble event and what's going to be happening on WWE Supercard during that time. But to start off, I've got some King of the Ring awards to get. So we're going to get those straight away right now. Right now. And basically, I was in the King of the Ring with a couple of guys. Uh, in fact, it's actually quite a few people. But yes, I got myself an ultimate King of the Ring award. So we're going to get ourselves that first of all. Get out of the way and then talk about the amazing events that are literally going to happen. And it's going to be so much fun. Uh, I'm, I'm genuinely really excited. It does answer the one question we had from the previous uploads. Where I said, what's going to happen with this John Cena thing? Well, actually, it was nothing to do with John Cena, but we'll comment on that in a second. Let's get the King of the Ring awards, get an ultimate and elite card. Um, I'm hoping it's something awesome, um, but... Given my luck recently with regards to female cards, I'm not so sure. Claim it, it's going to be Sami Zayn. Okay, so it's not great. It's actually a pretty decent card. Top 10, but it's not a pro. I've already got a pro Sami Zayn from uh, Road to Glory, I think it was. But I got myself a Sami Zayn, so that's pretty cool. And then my elite card is an Austin Aries. So uh, not sure if either of those are pros. We shall have a look right now. Hey, it's not a pro, but at least it's an additional card. Maybe something I can use for the Fusion Chamber or whatnot. Uh, but I do have an incredible amount of ultimates now. It's just insane. I've got 64 and I've got two pros. I've got to get done as well. So uh, it's not the greatest of rewards, but you know what? I'll take it. It's one of the better cards in the tier. And Austin Aries isn't a pro either, so I'll just leave those there. But I'm sure everyone's focus is on what's going to happen as of tomorrow, in fact. If you like what you see in this upload, make sure you hit the like button as many times as freaking possible. We can go for as many likes as you possibly can. If we could land on an odd number for the likes, that would be awesome. Thanks, guys. And uh, let's get into the big reveal. There has been a big, big announcement from WWE Supercard. Something that has never been done before. And that is... Oh, well, this isn't good. Hello? Hello? No, oh, we're back. Oh, shit! So Undertaker, limited edition Undertaker, who just creeped up on us. It's going to be the first ever limited edition card in the game. And the way that this is going to work... Now, they're calling this card an LE Undertaker, an LE card, which is actually a limited edition card. And this Undertaker card is special because it's only going to be available between January 27th and January the 30th. Now, there's a couple of rules I want to explain around this card because there's a lot of confusion and I want to clear that up. First of all, the stats aren't amazing. No, they're not going to be any event cards and they're probably not going to be many Money in the Bank cards or throwbacks. But the fact of the matter is the card image is going to be amazing. It's one of the best images of Undertaker that I've ever seen. And I, that card when pro is going to look incredible. But getting it is not going to be easy. And what I've done is I've taken all the information instead of rushing into it. You know how I like to do things. And get it all together and then put it together for you. So you know exactly what you're doing when this event comes along. Now this event is going to last until the Royal Rumble begins. Which is on January the 30th at 12 a.m. PST. What that means is as soon as the Royal Rumble pre-show starts, this event will end. So it basically means that Undertaker is only available until the Royal Rumble begins. And what that means is that this card will then become unavailable and potentially one of the rarest cards available in the game. Now what they are going to do is they are going to release QR codes on their Twitter account, which all you need to do is then use that QR scanner, which was used previously for the WWE Supercard Super Tokens. You might have heard of those before. And by using that QR scanner, which you have to have a mobile phone for or an iPad or a mobile device, you then scan that QR code and it pops up that Undertaker for you. So you can get your hands on one of those. And those are going to be released between the 27th and the 30th in, in some random order. My recommendation is to go and follow the WWE Supercard account and go and check that out so you can get your notifications so you can get one yourself one of these cards. Now, unlike the Super Tokens, which are like one in four, there seems to be hundreds and hundreds of these QR codes available. So basically, it won't just be one or two people getting these amazing cards. There'll be lots of people being able to get these, it seems. We've already done a couple of tests, and I've got myself a nice, sweet little WrestleMania Undertaker, which I'll show you in a second. Um, now, other than that, if you are in any tier other than Ultimate Tier, you are not going to be able to pull this card off the board. As long as you're in Ultimate Tier, then you're going to be able to get this card 
And yes, you'll be able to pro him as well, so long as you get the two cards as normal. Now, the pools are going to be available in any game mode. There's a lot of confusion initially that you won't be able to get access to this in any other game mode other than the Royal Rumble mode because it was designed around the Royal Rumble. So just to clarify, you can pull this card in any game mode, including Ring Domination, up until the date that it's finished. So you can do it Royal mode, you can do it Ranked mode, you can do it Royal Rumble, you can do it in Ring Domination. Um, one tip I would give anyone who's looking to get themselves one of these Undertaker cards is to build up a few games of money in the bank and use all those contracts. And just my personal recommendation and my opinion on as many picks as possible so you can try and pull as many of these Undertaker cards off the board. And this is really awesome. I'm loving this idea. If they do this for every single pay-per-view, it will increase the interest in the game like five or six-fold. And I know immediately many, many, many players who are going to literally go ham for this Undertaker card because it's limited. It's something special. It's something that not many people are going to be able to get access to. So it's definitely worth their time, especially if they missed out on both Goldberg cards because it's one of the only left arrow cards that's going to be available that's stronger than the normal cards. So here comes the really, really good part. And I love this because this is going to mean that people are going to have so much fun pulling cards off the board. And potentially, I can see people pulling multiple ultimate cards off the board, not just the Undertaker, but other ultimate cards, elite cards, Harlan cards. So if you ever wanted to pay W Supercard Raw Rumble mode, this weekend is the weekend to do it. And I, I implore that things like Money in the Bank, for Money in the Bank weekend, double the contracts, triple the contracts. Do this thing on a regular basis. I cannot tell you how passionate I am about how good this idea is. It's brilliant. So, for Royal Rumble mode this weekend, instead of getting 10 picks, from the morning of the 27th, you will now get double picks, which means that you'll get between 20 and 24 picks for a win on the Royal Rumble mode, which means you're going to be able to get closer and closer to this Undertaker card. But not just that, another maybe a bit of a, a bit of advice. If you get yourself through Ring Domination, Ring Domination is really good for resets. And if this Undertaker card is based purely off of resets, you want to be playing as much as freaking possible. And you want to be getting as many resets as possible. Now that's just my recommendation. You, you, just, you guys just do you and play the game you want to play it at the end of the day. There's also, although I haven't seen it, apparently a really sweet Undertaker card back which is going to be available. In fact, if I go to the rewards here, you can't see it yet, but it is going to become available during this event. And it's going to be an additional Undertaker card back that is going to be available between now and the end of the Royal Rumble rewards period. And all that means is that you're going to have access to that between now and the next 27 days, which might show up on here. It might explain why there have been two Triple H uh, card backs on here for a while. Maybe there's going to be one between Triple H and John Cena that's going to be exclusive for this Royal Rumble event. Who knows? Now this unfortunately is only available in the Royal Rumble mode, but it's going to be available for a lot longer time. Not just the three days that this is going to be available for. But uh, yeah, this Undertaker card is going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see a pro of it. But um, I'm going to go off now. I'm going to enter another King of the Ring. Now I have Neville pro so if I just also fill this now, you can see I've got Neville pro I could just leave it like that, but actually I'm going to take out Neville and Shayna Mack. And uh, that's pretty much it from this one. So let me know if you're going to be going after that Undertaker card. Make sure you pay attention to a couple of other uploads. We talk about Ring Domination, Mankind's Ring Domination, which already is really awesome. Another recommendation is to work your way through the Ring Domination cards because you get more resets off the board in Ring Domination than any other game mode. So if you've got the ability to do it, use my other videos where I've done it in the past and you'll get some massive, massive hints and tips as to how you can get yourself this Undertaker potentially quicker than anyone else. So here is an additional summary of all of the changes for this week's Undertaker event with the Mankind event in the background as well. The pulls are only available for the Undertaker card in Ultimate Tier as it's an Ultimate card. However, if you want to be one of the lucky people that gets access to one of these Ultimate Undertaker cards, all you got to do, you're in any other tier, you could be in SummerSlam or WrestleMania tier. Go to WWE Supercards Twitter, follow them, make sure you turn your notifications on, and every time a QR code is given away, you got a chance potentially of redeeming that Undertaker card and getting yourself a pro maybe if you've got one already. The pulls will be available in any game mode across WWE Supercard that includes World Ranked, Royal Rumble, Ring Domination for this week. 
The Royal Rumble picks will be doubled for the event from 10 to 20 or from 12 to 24. There will also be a new Undertaker card back which is available in Royal Rumble mode only. And the event runs from 27th to the 30th, the same time 12am to 12am just before the Royal Rumble begins. All I'm going to say is good luck to each and every one of you who goes to get this Undertaker card. Uh, hopefully we'll find out more and more information as time goes on. But let me know how excited you are about this card in the comment section below. And also remember to make sure you hit that huge thumbs up on this video. We can hit an odd number on the likes, that'd be incredible. Just keep going until we get an odd number, that'd be amazing. And also don't forget to check the description below for details to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you guys soon. That's me done, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon, and one last thing before we go, and that is to... Zonif!